Hello, and welcome back to Red Loud. This episode is clearly not what I said would be coming literally months ago, and it's going to be short, but I think it's fun if nothing else. My first two series were made without any sort of opening music or bumper because I am an amateur and I don't know what I'm doing. That remains true. However, it occurred to me that probably the most famous leftist song of all time has lyrics more than 150 years old, and music written short shortly after the Dakotas became states. You can find dozens of versions of the International online, but they all run into a few problems. First is copyright. While the melody and lyrics belong to nobody, same cannot be said of the various performances I wanted to use. Some of them are listed in the wiki commons as open, but I wasn't entirely convinced and I'm not trying to get sued here. As for the performances that are definitively public domain, most have lyrics synced. Included. These are often great performances, but most originated somewhere in the USSR, and I don't want to give this show too strong of a Soviet flavor. Ideally, I would have liked to use Billy Bragg's adaptation, but that seemed like a stretch to even justify asking. So I made a version myself on GarageBand because no one could stop. After hearing the results, you might wish someone had stopped me, because again, I know nothing about music production, and it is very obvious. However, if anyone who wants to help me make a better version, please reach out. The poem I am going to be reading today was originally written by Eugene Potier in June 1871. The melody I used was written by Pierre de Gaetel in 1889, but as I am focusing on the poem here, I will also be focusing on Potier with apologies to any francophones. Eugene Potier was born in 1816 and eventually became a member of the Paris Municipal Committee, also known as the Commune. In a remarkable display of revolution, Revolutionary optimism. Potier wrote L'Internationale just a few weeks after the violent destruction of the commune while in hiding. L'Internationale wasn't set to music until two years after Potier's death in 1887. Unfortunately, that means Potier's poem, which would arguably become the most successful political song of all time, was more or less unknown during his time. After fleeing the commune, Potier lived briefly in England before spending most of his post-commune life in New York, Philadelphia, and Newark. In America, Potier worked extensively for the socialist parties of the time, though always in French, and ran a French-language school. Potier did return to France at the end of his life, where he would unfortunately die penniless. I don't speak French, and there are dozens of translations and adaptations made over the last century and a half, but I will be going with Mitchell Abador's translation for Marxist.org. Feel free to check the link for more more versions. With that, here we go. The Internationale by Eugene Potier. Tis the final conflict. Let us unite, and tomorrow the Internationale will be the human race. Arise, the damned of the earth. Arise, prisoners of hunger. Reason thunders in its crater. Tis the eruption of the end. Let's make a clean slate of the past. Enslaved mass, arise, arise. The world's foundation will change. We are nothing. Now let's be all. There are no supreme saviors, neither God nor Caesar nor tribune. Producers, let us save ourselves. We decree common salvation, so that the thief should offer us his throat, so that the spirit be wrested from its cell. Let us fan the forge's flames ourselves and strike while the iron is hot. The state represses, the law cheats, taxes bleed the poor. No duties are imposed on the rich. The rights of the poor are empty words. We have languished long enough under domination. Equality wants other laws. No rights without duties, it says, equals there are no duties without rights. Hideous in their apotheosis, the kings of mines and rails, have they ever done aught but rob from labor? In the safes of that gang, what is created? Created is smelted by decree that they turn it over. The people only want what is their due. Kings intoxicated us with smoke. Peace among us, war on tyrants. Let's apply the strike to armies. Rifle was raised on high and breaking ranks. And if they assist those cannibals on making heroes of us, they'll soon learn that our bullets are for our own generals. Workers, farmers, we are the great party of the work. The earth belongs only to 
men. Idlers can go someplace else. How many on our flesh can eat their fill? But if the ravens, the vultures, one morning disappeared, the sun would shine still. Tis the final conflict. Let us unite, and tomorrow the Internationale will be the human race.